Hello everybody, it's Jochen Haydn and I'm back with the Helston vs. Haydn campaign. It's been a while. It's February 10th, 1942. So, it's taken Helston two weeks to get me this turn. Ready to grab Christmas Island. And I've been really sick. <coughs> Sorry. I've had a flu for a week, which has turned into a sinus infection. So, I have not been on my computer for quite a while. Oh. Oh. Well... I'm pretty sure this gale was what was coming out of Suva. Anyway, yeah, I've been really sick. Um, and if you can hear it in my voice, I'm not really better. So I didn't want to get these turns going, though, because it's been a while since I've played and I, I need to do something. It's been rough. This is as sick as I've been in, in a year. All right. So we're landing on Oh, uh, I guess. I don't know how to say that. Oh, whoa, what? Oh, what? Oh my god! Holy crap! Did, did you see that? We just hit the Yorktown! Holy crap! Oh my god! Well, we know where the American carriers are at now. Holy crap! Oh! Oh, well, that's something. I can't believe that. I, you know what? I was worried that the American carriers were going to go to India, and sure enough, that's where they're at. Oh, shoot. Well, that changes a lot. That changes a, a heck of a lot. Man, all these... I-157, man. Even if I lose that sub, it was worth it. Just to get that warning that they're here. Man, look at that guy. He's dodging all this stuff. Yep, use up all their ASW ammo, please. Wow, it just never ends. Wow. They gotta be out of ammo, right? Dude, I gotta give I gotta give I-157 a medal that captain gets a medal for this for surviving this crazy ASW attack and hitting the Yorktown Look at that. Prince of Wales and Yorktown, huh? Prince of Wales. The one that got away. Damn it. God, I wish I had sunk that stupid thing when we had a chance. But it no matter. We know the Yorktown is here. And you, you can bet there'll be more. There'll be more than this. It's not the only one. Four hits the I-157. Wow, that's big news, man. We need to get ready. Uh, 
Oh. Look at that. Cancel missions, huh? All right. Clear skies! Yes! Hopefully we can get a good bombing raid on Cloncrete today. Uh-oh. That's not good. They're sweeping because bombers are coming in. Yep, we're going to get we're going to get blasted. This should be a really good bombing raid, clear skies. <laughs> Come on, man. 14 hits. I'm done with that. What a waste. Oh, flak. We got hit by flak? At 10,000 feet? What the heck kind of flak does he got there? Either way, really good hits. Okay, this is going to be a big deal. We're going to attack here. Good supply hits. Okay, I'm attacking heavily here because I want to take this. I want to sever the oil today. I think we can do it right here. I think we found a weak spot right here. Fly hits, perfect. And a sub. See that stupid sub right there? How is he still getting subs in here? Where are they coming from? Alright. Hopefully that's enough disruption here to break through. Guys, he's sweeping here because he's going to bomb the crap out of my troops. So you just wait. Here they come. Here they come. Oh, man. This is going to be rough. Oh! I do have flak with them, though. I definitely got some flak there. <coughs> so he's coming. <coughs> sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Thought I had my mic turned off. I apologize for that. Um, okay, we do have some flak here, and he's coming in really high. Hmm. I wait for the B-17s to show up. I'm sure they will.
Where are the B-17s? I know they're coming. There they are. Man, this is not going to be pretty. Hopefully my flat can do something here. Wow, look at that! Okay, okay. He's bombing high. We took very little losses there. And my flak is actually hitting stuff. That's cool. Look at that. These, these bombing raids are not that effective. I got a hit with flak. Glad I had the, uh, the forethought to put that in there. Well, that could have been a lot worse with those B-17s, I'll tell you what. I think the flak really disrupted them a bit. Wow, this turn's shaping up to be pretty hot. Let's see if our ground combat goes well. I hope it will. We have some big attacks planned today. It could completely change the whole landscape in China. Alright, so here's our first one. It's not looking too hot there. That unit's pretty strong. I take it back. It's looking really good. So these guys retreat off at, into the well yonder. We take low casualties. He takes high casualties. We have one unit left here, and that's fine. Cool. All right. Here we go, guys. Big attack at Chengdu. We're going to get it. Come on, let's get it. Oh, man, I hope we can take that this turn. That would be awesome. I think we can. Oh, I think we got it. Oh, we got it, man. Dang it, yeah. Excellent. Driving these guys off into the into nowhere. Oh, look at that. We captured Chengdu, guys. That's the secondary capital of China. It's now ours. That was easy. Okay, bombardment attack here. He's really whittled down his forces now. I've st I think we're starting to see a lot of dominoes falling here in China for him. He still has a little more AV than us, though. Okay, shock attack here. Hoping to clear these guys off the rail line. And they're blown off again. All right, this is a huge attack, guys. I think we got it. This will sever the oil from Lan Chao to Chung King if we take this hex. We got it. We got it. That's it, guys. No more fuel to Chung King. It's over. Why would he leave it like that? Alright, and we push that guy up and on again. Japanese deliberate attack right here. These guys are basically beat up and done for. Can't believe those units have anything left in them. That's okay, we'll just keep chasing them around. 
All right, now I'm just cleaning up some uh, flag bases here in the DEI. Two more done. Japanese shock attack at Kienko. What? What? Why did I do that? Oh, I remember why. Yep, well, that wasn't a good idea. Uh, well, that didn't go so well. <laughs> Yikes. Well, at least I know what he's got there now. Shoot. AT gun regiment. There's a thousand AV. Well, I didn't, wasn't trying to suicide these guys. Honestly, I was trying to try to capture this base before those troops moved in, but the timing didn't work out. Um, but that's okay. Uh, at least I know what he's got here now. A thousand AV. Like there. 1200 AV there. Okay. Now I know what he's playing with here. What a fantastic turn. I got caught up in the gun combat and I forgot that we put a torpedo into Yorktown as well. About dang, big dang time my subs did something. We cut the land shell fuel. We took... We took... Uh, what was it? Uh, Cheng Tu... It's some good stuff, man. Okay, that's a new unit. All right, we have a lot to discuss. Okay, we're back. I got to get back in the swing of this because it's been so long since I've done a video. It's been way over two weeks and with me being sick, it's probably closer to three, but I'm, I'm back in it and I want to talk about what happened today. Let's start with the numbers as we always do. Aircraft losses today, seven to seven, but we actually bagged a couple B-17s here. One shut down with flag and one ops loss. Uh, looks like he lost a couple by fives and a B-17E, so three four-engine bombers today. That's good for me. Of the seven aircraft we lost, unfortunately, that counted as five killed pilots. And we'll take a look at our wounded pilots to see how they're doing. Okay, uh, Chujiro, let's see if we can get him back. Transfer to reserve. Chojiro. Yep, we're going to get him back. Alright, taking a look at the army loss points. 67 for the allies. 5 for us. <coughs> Excuse me. Still getting over this flu thing. Yeah, anyway. Whew. Need to drink some water. Those five army loss points were from our failed paratroop drop, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Ship sunk last turn, nothing. And I know we're going to talk about the Yorktown in a minute, but I don't think it sank. No, we're close to it. Uh, we did gain 30 strategic uh, loss points against the Allies, but that was pretty pathetic given what I thought we could do in Australia with clear terrain and clear sky. We only got 30 points. That was pretty sad. For the turn... We gained 189 points, and our win ratio has finally broke 3.3 to 1. So we're at 3.024. Finally broke that 3 to 1 plane on our way to 4 to 1. Okay, so we'll talk about three strategic areas today on the map. 
And the first one we got to talk about is right here. Let me circle it. All right. So in this area, namely right here. <coughs> Man, sorry. This is where we hit the Yorktown. Whew, I got to stop coughing. So the I-157 is what sank the Yorktown right here. So Captain Ikura, Ikura, that is my new hero, man. He not only put a torpedo in the Yorktown, he withstood a massive barrage of ASW attacks and took very minimal damage in the process. Yeah, we can keep going right now with this, no problem. But let me tell you what this is. It's not just the fact that we damaged Yorktown and that one torpedo probably didn't even put a huge dent in it, guys. It's still combat capable. But what this does do is it confirms my suspicions from the start that Helson has moved his carriers into India, right? And my guess is that the Yorktown was coming down this way, right? Probably intending to go for some sort of raid in the Bay of Bengal. But he tripped over one of my landmines here. And, uh, you know, the secret's out. Now I know where his carriers are at. Granted, we've only found one. But uh, most decent allied players understand that splitting up their carriers at early 1942 is a bad idea. So I am sure the rest of them are here somewhere. Certain of it. So... Um, that's good and bad. It's good because now I know where they're at, but it's bad because we have a lot of this going on. If you notice all these guys here, uh, these are all troop convoys heading up to Calcutta. Now, none of them have anything particularly important on them, right? They're not like loaded down with like whole divisions and stuff, but they have a lot of little support units, some supplies, some fuel little nitinoid stuff going into Calcutta and I wouldn't want to lose any of those right now so now that I know that his carriers are potentially in this area and trying to maybe get into here or go further down and cut us off closer to Singapore we can take appropriate action here to guard that whoa what did I do I broke something oh right, there we go um we could take appropriate action to guard guard against that. And now I can be on heightened alert. More naval search. More long more land based air ready to counterattack. Get these ships, stash them somewhere safe where he won't find them. I can do all those things now that I know his carrier's out here somewhere. So this is really good for me. Really happy about that. Um, and since we're in India Actually, no. I'm done with India for now. Because you guys saw the bombing raid here. Uh, you know I'm moving into Hyderabad. Not much to say until we get in there. But yeah, Yorktown hit over here. And now we know where his carriers are, are committed. Next area I want to talk about today is here in Burma. I got a substantial amount of troops into Lashio. And this is good for me. Because this is the last major bastion of allied British troops... Indian troops in this whole part of the world until you get past Ranchi in, in India. These guys here are nothing. This is a major concentration of troops. And because we've cut the supply from the Burma Road and from India, Lashio now has to be supplied more or less from this direction because these bases here, they've got nothing in them. Right? We've cut all those lines. So these troops are now a big supply draw from China. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move artillery in here. And we're going to start bombarding that. And we're going to start bombing this place every day. And lay siege to these British troops here. And what it's going to do is cause a supply draw from China into Lashio to supply these troops. And if, it does, if there's not enough supply in China, these guys start withering away. And before you know it, we'll be able to start attacking there and start beating these guys down. Uh, I've got all the time in the world in this part of, of Burma to do this. So, you know, I got... Uh, this is ideal for me. We're going to lay siege to these guys and just bleed the supply out of here 
and in the process put more supply constraint on China to keep these guys alive. It's nothing but a win-win for me. All right, so that's that's big. And then finally, I want to talk about China. Wow, man, I'm really messing up today on my str on my guys. I'm sorry for the terrible production quality today. Uh, between me coughing out a lung and not having done this in a few weeks, I, I got to get my act together. Anyway. I'm going to wrap this up and we'll talk about China here. We had a big day here in China. And we got some intel that I want to discuss with you. First of all, we finally cut the Lanchao fuel right here by severing this road. Right? There's no other way for his fuel. They can't go this way because there's just too many supply points. Can't go this way. Too many supply points. We blocked the road here. So there's really no way for the fuel to get into China at this point. Um, and on top of that, we also took Chengdu, Chengdu, which is the alternate Chinese capital. And it's also a major base of supply for the Chinese, right? If you take a look at this here, it has 170 industry, light industry. That's 170 supply points. 75 heavy industry, which is 150 supply, and then it makes an additional 180 a day, I think is what that is. Something like that. It, it, it produces a substantial amount of supply, and knocking that out uh, just makes it harder for him. Now, on top of me taking this, you guys remember when we noticed that his troops ended up in this hex? Initially, I thought he was heading for Chang. Chengdu but he told me that these troops were never intended to go here they were supposed to go this way and challenge my troops here and try to break through into Chongqing and reinforce it but because of some weird bug which we don't understand they warped from this hex to this hex alright so again those troops here which is a, a huge amount of troops look at this that's probably close to 2,000 AV of, of, of Chinese infantry. They should be going this way. But instead, they somehow ended up here. So that's really bad for him because that gives me time for my troops in Chengdu to head back here and reinforce this hex so these guys can't get through. Um, this is going to put him back at least seven, eight, nine days before they can turn into this point here. And quite honestly, I'll beat him to this hex before he could ever get back on this secondary road. I don't know what happened. Um, I've experienced weird warping of land combat units myself, especially over in this part of China at the early parts of the war. I had armor going all over the place when it should have been going down these roads. And it cost me about a week. So I guess it's just his turn to, to get a warp bug but I, we don't really know what caused it because there's nothing in this hex but hey I'll take I'll take a bank error in my favor this buys me a lot of time so there you go guys that's the turn uh, we found the enemy carriers we put a torpedo in Yorktown um, we took a couple major places in China this is a great round uh, hopefully me and Helsing can eventually get back on track and start producing these turns faster I've been sick. He, I, he's been doing I don't know what. But I'm going to get this turn done as fast as I can. And we're going to try to get this going again. Because I really want this campaign to move forward. I'll catch you guys on the next one.